one system, multiple USB peripherals, and multiple hosts. How do these hosts talk to all these peripherals? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the lab. My name is Connor, and I'm an applications engineer here at Microchip. Today, we're going to talk about Flex Connect. But before we talk about Flex Connect, let's talk about what is a USB hub. A USB hub typically contains one upstream port and multiple downstream ports. In a traditional sense, one host will be connected, and it'll be able to see various downstream devices plugged into the hub. So now that we can understand what a hub is, let's talk a little bit about Microchip's Flex Connect technology. What Flex Connect allows us to do is have multiple upstream ports. Flex Connect allows us to swap our traditional upstream port to one of our downstream ports, which now becomes an upstream port. This allows multiple hosts to be able to plug in and access all the USB devices. All right, so we've talked about Flex Connect, but let's see what that looks like. So what we have here is our demonstration board using a USB 3.1 Gen 2 microchip hub just a simple PIC controller, and we have two Surface laptops, and we have a camera plugged into the downstream port, as well as my keyboard and mouse. Right now, the tablet on the left is the upstream port, and we can see the camera. So let's turn it on. As you can see from the green light, we have our upstream port, and this tablet can now see our USB device, the camera. So let's plug in our other tablet. We'll take the green cable here, and we'll plug it in to the hub. Now, with the button press, we're going to initiate Flex Connect. As you can see, the green light moved from here to here, indicating that we've swapped hosts. And now, over here on our right tablet, we can now see that it has control of all the USB devices and can see the camera. All right, now that we've seen Flex Connect, let's talk about what we saw. So in the first case, we had our left tablet here. In that case, it was the host and had access to all the devices. In a system, this could be, in our case, a camera, but any amount of USB devices. Now, we wanted to have a second host have access to the system. So what we did is we connected our second host to one of our ports that allows Flex Connect, and we used a method to initiate it. What that did is it turned this port into a downstream port. So anything plugged in here would really just be a device. And now we have a new port, which is our stream port, which means our new host connected to the system and had access to the same amount of peripheral devices that our original host had access to. In our demonstration here, we used I2C. Our 8-bit microchip device was our I2C controller, and the hub was being the I2C target. Let's look at the I2C portion of our PIC code, which controls this whole demonstration. All right, what do we see in this snapshot of code? As you can see here, there are different blocks. Each block corresponds to a different port. What's happening here is we're doing I2C writes, which is just a register write, which varies from port to port based on the button click and the dial we saw on the demonstration board. It, when the button is pressed, the pick will call one of these blocks and do the register writes to the hub. At that point, the hub will initiate Flex Connect and we'll see the ports switch roles. So now that we've seen in the code there are multiple blocks for multiple ports, that gives us an indication that not only one port can do this Flex Connect. As you can see, we have multiple ports here. So let's take our original host, we're gonna unplug that, and we're gonna now plug it into one of our other ports. We're going to switch our dial to indicate that we want to now flex to this port instead of this port or this port. We're gonna press the button to initiate the Flex Connect. We'll see the green LED move over. And now our original host, which is now plugged into a downstream port, has access to all the devices again. As you can see, we can see the camera over here. So now that we've seen a little bit of a demonstration of how Flex Connect works, where do we see this? It actually comes in a bunch of different markets from automotive, to consumer electronics, to computing, all the way to debug interfaces. All right, so let's talk about how this works in these applications. Well, in a system, if you have a simple host always connected and it fails, 
Where we've seen a lot of this use case is plugging in a debug tablet computer of some sorts, plugging it in downstream and initiating Flex Connect. This allows the user company to be have an opportunity to debug the system, whether it be downstream ports or their original host, which is misbehaving. How is this used in a debug sense? Suppose you have a system with an original host that's always connected and it fails, or you have a downstream device that's doing something funny. You have a debug tablet, laptop, host, and that has the ability to debug code in other parts of the system, your original host, or some of the downstream devices. What this Flex Connect allows you to do is plug in that host, initiate Flex Connect, and now this host has access to the same system your original host had access to. Great for debugging all the various items within the system. Another popular application, docs and monitors. Believe it or not, most docs and monitors use hubs in order to gain more USB devices on the downstream ports. We see them in conference rooms all the way down to users' home offices. In a lot of conference rooms, you'll find a media hub somewhere in the center of the table with it connected microphones, cameras, a projector. Now, what Flex Connect allows is anybody in the room could plug into a port and flex so that their system is the host system. And while presenting, we'll have access to the microphone or any other peripherals which are present in the conference room. And a final application where we see this used a lot is anything involving a smartphone. Today's smartphones aren't just devices. They have the ability to become a host too. Where we see that Flex Connect used a fair amount is in the automotive industry. Flex Connect allows devices to become hosts. When a user plugs their smartphone device into their car, there are a lot of popular applications that people see, such as CarPlay and CarLife over in Asia. These are example automotive applications which could possibly use Microchip's Flex Connect technology. Does Flex Connect sound interesting to you? Do you have an idea or design you might want to use Flex Connect with? Well, you don't need this demonstration board to demonstrate this. On Microchip Direct, you can find evaluation boards for the USB hub, PIC controller, as well as a bunch of other devices, and you could create your own system. In the description below, you'll find links to the products we use during this demonstration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time in the lab.